Hello friend, welcome to Hunt Electronics and in today's technical session we are going to discuss about the phase shift in low pass filter. So the diagram which is uh, described below it is of a low pass filter where the capacitor is in the shunt and the resistor is in the series over here. So when we give the input to the circuitry, okay, suppose this is the input to the circuitry. So we'll get some output to the circuitry and if I show the output here with a different color, so this will be the output. So the difference in this, so this particular difference is nothing but a phase shift. So in this we can denote this by a small t and the actual one, this one, we can say this as a capital T. Okay. So if we want to calculate the phase shift between this is V in and this is V out. So we can write here the phase shift that is nothing but a theta equals to a small t upon capital T into 180. Why 180? Because we are calculating it for only for a one half cycle. So whatever the phase you are going to get, this is a phase shift by the output waveform with respect to the input. In the similar way, if you want to do the calculated one, so the formula is theta equals to tan inverse of 2 pi f rc so here you can substitute the value of the frequency at which you are given the input you have to substitute the value of r and you have to substitute the value of c so you'll get and these two value which is observed and calculated should be similar to each other so in the similar way we are going to calculate the phase shift for 2 kilohertz of frequency okay then for the 3 kilohertz of frequency and the last we are going to calculate for the 4 kilohertz of the frequency okay so for this we require the apparatus as function generator okay which has got 1 megahertz of output okay with respect to sine square and triangular wave DSO okay with two channels channel 1 and channel 2 and R and C so here the R is 1 kilo ohm and uh, C is 0 0.1 microfarad why I have selected this particular value so this design consideration will be given at the end of the video you can take a screenshot uh, shot of it and uh, you can go through the design consideration in detail so in this uh, this session we are going to focus more on the practical session over here so let us calculate for uh, 2 kilohertz of the frequency so you can see here so this is 2 kilohertz of frequency and if you see the voltage I have given 5 volt that is 10 volt pick to pick okay so here you can see here this is a channel 1 which we are getting at the output and here it is a channel 2 over here I will put this into the dwell mode so the first most important you have to ground both the input signals so I have ground it put it into the AC signal over here and here so this is a time per division knob over here so this is my input signal and this is my output signal okay so let us calculate this with respect to the time so here from a uh, function uh, uh, sorry from the DSO if I can calculate this uh, the capital T which starts from here and ends over here it is nothing but a 1.3 into 0 1.3 into 0 0.1 millisecond over here so let us note down for 2 kilohertz the capital T that is nothing but a VI okay timing for a VI that is the input waveform it is a 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 3 so let us calculate at the small t what we are getting over here so the small t is nothing but uh, 0.4 into 0 0.1 milliseconds over here so it is nothing but 0 0.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 so if i want to calculate the actual value from the graph okay so it will be theta equals to small t that is 0 0.4 
into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 180 by 180 as I told you we are taking it for the one half cycle. So if I calculate this so 0 0.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 3 okay and this whole into 180 okay so you can see here we are getting the answer as 55.38 degree so this is the phase shift between the input with respect to output okay now let us see the calculated one so here theta equals to tan inverse of 2 pi f r c so tan inverse of 2 pi the frequency is 2 kilohertz which we have given over here so 2 into 10 raised to 3 into r is 1 kilohertz uh, sorry 1 kilo ohm so this is 1 into 10 raised to 3 into the capacitor is 0 0.1 into 10 raised to minus 6 so if i substitute this all values in the calculator so it will be tan inverse of 2 pi into okay 2 into 10 raised to 3 into 1 into 10 raised to 3 into 0 0.1 into 10 raised to minus 3 that is uh, sorry minus 6 that is the capacitor bracket close and if you see the answer you are getting here 50 1.48 degree okay so this is observed uh, so there is a there may be a 10 a 10 percent tolerance over here so this is a calculated one and this is the actual reading for, for from the uh, <coughs> experiment over here now let us see uh, let us give the 3 kilohertz of the frequency at the input and let us ch check the what will the phase shift we are going to get over here so now so here the 2 kilohertz frequency I will be going to change it to the 3 kilohertz. So we got a required change over here. So let us see it for a 3 kilohertz of frequency. So I have made the change over here. It is a 3 kilohertz of frequency over here. We have got some output. So from this we can see here the capital T which we are measuring over here. So that is nothing but a 0 0.9, 0 0.9 into 0. 2 millisecond 0 0.2 millisecond so it is 0 0.9 into 0 0.9 into 0 0.2 into 10 raised to minus 3 okay so let us check the small t the small t is a uh, 0.3 into 0 0.2 so 0 0.3 into 0 0.2 into uh, 10 is to 10 is to minus 3 okay now let us do the calculation okay uh, so we can see that 0 0.9 into 0 0.2 into 10 raised to 3 this is a capital T over here so theta is equal to small t upon capital T so 0 0.06 upon 0 0.8 so into 180 so let us calculate this 0 0.06 uh, into 10 raised to minus 3 upon 0 0.18 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 180 so sorry into 180 so you are getting a 60 degree okay so this is a observed one and let us do the calculated one so, here you can see here theta equals to tan inverse of 2 pi f r c so here tan inverse of here it is 2 into this uh, so the frequency here it is 3 kilohertz so into 3 into 10 raised to 3 into r is nothing but 1 into 10 raised to 3 and the capacitor okay capacitor is nothing but 0 0.1 into 10 raised to minus 6 so let us do this calculation so tan inverse of uh, tan inverse of 2 2 pi into 
थ्री इन टू टेन डेज टू थ्री टेन डेज टू थ्री इन टू वन इन टू टेन डेज टू थ्री इन टू जीरो पॉइंट वन इन टू टेन डेज टू माइनस सिक्स ओके सो यू आर गेटिंग हियर सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव सो दिस इज ऑब्जर्व वन एंड दिस इज कैलकुलेटेड वन सो दैट इज अ फेज डिफरेंट बिटवीन द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट लेट इज गो फॉर द लास्ट रीडिंग सो लेट इज फॉर अ फोर किलो हर्ट्स ऑफ इनपुट सो आई विल बी मेकिंग चेंज ओवर हियर फोर किलो हर्ट्स ओके सो आई गॉट दिस चेंज ओवर हियर ओके लेट इज सी द कैपिटल टी फर्स्ट ओके स्मॉल टी and then calculated theta over here so the capital t uh, over here it is nothing but from the calculation it is a uh, 0.8 0.8 into 0.2 okay so i can write here 0.8 into 0.2 into 10 raised to minus 3 okay then for small t it is 0.3 0.3 into 0.2 into 10 to the minus 3 so let us do the calculation that is a small t upon capital t into 180 equals to 0.3 into 0.2 into 10 to minus 3 upon 0.8 into 0.2 into 10 to minus 3 into 180 Let us see what you get answer over here. So zero point three into zero point two into ten raised to minus three whole divided by zero point eight into zero point two into ten raised to minus three into one eighty. Okay. So here you are getting. The theta equals to sixty-seven point five degrees. So phase shift. So let us see the calculated one here. So for theta is equal to the same formula, tan inverse of two pi. Here frequency is four k, four into ten raised to three into resistor is one into ten raised to three into zero point one into ten raised to minus six. That is the capacitor. So if I substitute this. So, tan inverse is equal to two pi into four into ten raised to three into one into ten raised to three into zero point one into ten raised to minus three bracket close and sorry. Here it is minus six. It is equals to sixty-eight point three zero. So this is a uh, observed one, and this is the calculated. So the ten percent you will get a difference between the actual circuitry and the calculated one. So this is a phase shift in a low pass filter. So my dear friend, for more technical session like this, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Hunt Electronics. Thank you.